All right, guys, it's Greg Reese. I'm here at the island, on the island. There's an island in Dayton, Ohio. It's Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. And you see the beer right here. I told you a little bit about that, but I wanted to give this 30 second intro because my story got added to today. Was well, speaking about man, beards, everything. So there's my portion, but also there's a portion of a family, a portion of a community, a legacy, if you will, a Thanksgiving tradition. So stay tuned, man. It's, 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 I feel good inside. It's Greg Reese, videos, images, pictures. So here I am, guys. I, I, uh, as you see, I told you my beard was a little bipolar. Look at that spot there. See this? I'm trying to grow this beard. This has been about about four to five weeks out, and I wanted to see what it looked like if I started growing a full, a full beard. Now I've grown the goatee maybe about four or five weeks out, but then I always end up trimming it because I have some kind of event. And I want to go in uh, nice, neat, clean shaven, like trim, like I normally do. But I said, I've been in, I've been underground. This is my axis, manly man type of thing. Rugged. I, I was thinking to myself, I said, I'm in Dayton. I don't know too much about the area just yet. I said, where can I come to show that manly man, that rugged feel? And I wanted to go to like a park or something. And then I wanted to see a lot of trees so I could segue into Greg Reese cutting up and blowing leaves and stuff. And I said, you know what? There's both. There is a park along with some trees, along with the first place that they played an NFL game. So I said, man, that's that's some manly stuff. So let me come over here. And, and it's right behind me. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the sign a little bit uh, later, but this is the first area. So I'm not sure if it's back there or is it over there the first area that they played an NFL game so we grew up not too far from here in Dayton View most of us are all from the same neighborhood grew up playing football together and at least 50 years ago, we started coming down here to play football with our buddies and have continued to this day at least 50, some say 49, some say 52. We're not real sure on the math. And as we've gotten older, most of us are starting to bring down our, our kids. So we have two generations for most of the, most of the guys that are here. It's been really fun to get together every Thanksgiving with a great group of guys, um, nice families. It's really fun to get together. And uh, our football games have gotten shorter and shorter <laughs> as we've gotten older and older. So the, the old guys, we just kind of waddle around while the young guys really play. There's, there's four of us probably have been coming down here for all 50 years. Um, Ron and Rick and Tommy. Larry's not here, so... Yeah, I think we have the four or five of us been coming down for 50 years. So the Dayton Triangles were one of the uh, first teams. It was not called the NFL then. I forget the name of the league. But the Dayton Triangles hosted the very first, what became the NFL in October of 1919. And that's why the NFL was going to honor Dayton as a site until they found out there were um, relics underneath the ground. So they were going to put in a big stadium. Um, but that, that didn't happen. So, but we, we, yeah, we played, played Little League Baseball here. And in high school, played at Howell Field, which was always great for a high school kid to play on the really nice field. It's like, oh, man, this is awesome playing here.
Remember, so I'm, I'm, uh, this is my dad over here, and he, I have, uh, two older brothers and one younger brother, so I grew up, I'd wake up in the morning, and they'd all be gone at football, and you could, you had to be 14 years old to come here, so I'd wake up at noon, or, or I'd wake up, I'm 12 years old, I'd wait for them to come home, they'd come home all muddy, and I would just be waiting for my chance to come down here, so then finally I'm 14, I come down here, and I see this is what it is. No, no, it's, it's awesome. So that's the thing I think is really cool, is um, a lot of the times, you know, not everyone's able to make it every year. But, um, like, my brother flew in from Boston, my other brother flew in from Indianapolis, and we were all able to make it here, and we all have fun out here every year, and two of us are on one side, two of us on the other side, and we compete all day. So. Stay tuned to this channel, because I'll broadcast the whole thing soon. Oh, just be patient. Um, yeah, that's the big thing there. You know, everybody you know, says, oh, I get to about six months and I can't stand it and I, I cut it off. But uh, yeah, just power through it. I mean, it's a little bit of patience and perseverance, but it's a whole lot of laziness also. Um, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, so if you can if you can get past that point, uh, yeah, um, you know, just get past that six months and let it keep going. Gravity takes over after a little while, I think. It just starts pulling it straight down. Ha-ha! <laughs>